Okay, everybody. It's American Truck Simulator. And the latest build is 1.41.1.10S. 1 1 1 and I'm going to play a little bit of online here. Uh, because with this particular version, you can host your own online game. Or you can join someone else's. You can also password protect it. I have two profiles. This one here is Mycroft Canada NS, which is um, the one I use for mods. And Mycroft CDN NS Online is for, of course, online. So we're going to go continue game and let it do its thing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go down to Convoys. Now, the online version does not support mods just yet. So this is why you have to not play any mods at all. We've got Granite, which is, uh, let me see, Mischief Logistics. I don't like the name of that. Mischief meaning, what are they going to do? Start ramming me or something? Um, now, I could create my own. I could host my own Convoy. And it's just a convoy is just your, you know, your online thingy. It's all. It's a, you can password protect it. Welcome message when someone comes in. Maximum amount of players eight. Steam friends only. If that's all you want, or you want everybody to join you, entirely up to you. Four speed limiter. No need to do that. Enable collision twelve menus. High players. Yeah, you don't want to add um, enable collisions and menus. Yeah, it's because you might be, and all of a sudden someone comes up behind you. Well, no. Um, if you're on the side of the road, now leave it. Uh, that's if I want to host. Now, I doubt anybody would want to join the server. So, I'm going to be, let's just go to Mischief and see what they're going to do here. Okay, in game chat Y, in game quit replies Q. Hello, Mycroft Canada NS. Welcome to the convoy. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Be, be advised. Be advised. We have a Joker in our midst, and he's quite funny. But I don't think he's going to cause any problems. He's just entertaining everybody. Tell him a smart. If you tell him a smart guy, he disconnected. The sad reality. I know, now Now we actually have to work. That's not cool. Bro, I didn't come here to work. Oh. Goodness gracious, these diesel prices are outrageous out here. It's 3.34 per gallon. Yeah, we, we're definitely in California. <laughs> That's really quite expensive. Two. Looks like they have traffic turned off. It's pretty good. Oh, no, it's turned on. Okay. Bella Havina, come on. All drivers in the convoy, we've got one that's got to re -log, so we're kind of just stationary for a few minutes. Gotcha. Uh, just a mic test. You guys hearing me? Yes, we are. Uh, we hear you. That is a copy. Thank you. Pretty cool, huh? Currently restaging after one of our members relogs, and to the two new members in the convoy, we are currently hiring. If you're interested, let us know. We'll get you the Discord link in the chat. Yeah, it is really fun, and uh, sorry, it's really fun, and we always, you can always have a group to convoy with. They are members of the Autolite family. Okay, thank you. As well as our 98,000 Autolite distributors and dealers in the United States. <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. Didn't Canada, mean to talk your ear. The world. Our family also What's going on, Bella Halina? 30,000 men and women in 28 great Autolite plants from coast to coast, as well as the 18,000 people who have invested a portion of their savings in Autolite. 
every auto light product. Be just a few more minutes, uh, drivers. We got the uh, one that's still trying to relog, and he's trying to. He had a giggle fit, so he's cleaning up a mess. Bumper to tail light. You're always right with auto light. And now we bring we are restaging just uh, onto the interstate here. Baxter, we of Autolite would like to thank you for another magnificent performance and to announce to our listeners that you have won the first annual Golden Mike Award for the best feminine performance of the past year on suspense. This is FYI to all drivers. We are convoy is ending in about Oakland, California. Afterwards, we're probably looking to do additional convoy afterwards. And thanks to Autolite. I'd also like to thank the wonderful group of suspense players who worked with me, especially Joseph Kearns and Jeanette Nolan. All right, drivers, I'm currently on the entrance to the interstate, and I'm just waiting for everybody else. Good night. I'm right behind you, Mouse. A story that will prove I hate you a little, little, I'm sorry. It is stranger than fiction. Copy that. Mr. Cornell Wilde will star as a man who inadvertently was hired to be an assassin. The story is called Alan in Wonderland and will be heard on Suspense. You better get in here before it gets full. Josh, uh, let everybody know via the CB when you're ready so the other drivers can hear you because we're all on Discord. Suspense was produced and I'll be calling out when Josh is ready because he is not able to use the CB. The death of Barbara Allen was written for Suspense by Morton Fine and David Friedkin. In tonight's story, Jeanette Nolan was heard as the old lady, Joseph Kearns as Barbara's father. Featured in the cast were Harry Bartell, William Conrad, Louise Lewis, and Junius Matthews. And Baxter is soon to be seen in Alfred Hitchcock's I Confess. And remember, next week on Suspense, Mr. Cornell Wilde in Alan in Wonderland. Be advised, driver, stay on the shoulder and come on up to the lead driver, if you would. Autolite electrical parts and Autolite resistor or standard type spark plugs at your neighborhood Autolite dealer. Switch to Autolite. Good night. This is the CBS Radio Network. Uh, that's a 10 4. We're moving out now. Suspense. Tonight, Autolite presents the terrifying story of a double murder and the woman who became involved in this criminal activity. We've got a lot of traffic to our left, everyone. A lot. Agnes <laughs> Moorhead. Everybody stay in the right lane. Copy that. Man, watch baseball's grainiest... Copy that, all trucks keep right. Ah, it's my battery, Harlow. It struck out due to no water. Well, you should have an Autolite Stay Full battery, Stan. That's the perfect... Two and a half meters. ...needs water only three times a year in normal car use. Sounds like a real major... Trav's kind of falling behind him, Josh, right now. Autolite Stay Full bats a thousand. Okay, YB advised, we got one falling back behind. Uh, slow up just a tad. ...positive plate. They would each shed and flaking to give the Autolite Stay Full longer life, as proved by tests conducted according to accepted life cycle standards. I'm heading 35 and, uh... Sure, Stan. He'll pick you up for an Autolite Stay Full, the battery that says right on the case. Needs water only three times a year in normal car use. Remember, Stan, from bumper to tail light, you're always right with Autolite. And now, Autolite presents transcribed Miss Agnes Moorhead in Weekend Special Death, hoping once again to keep you in suspense. Who is Franz? I am. I'm Lee Stanley. Oh. What is all this? Well, maybe you can help us, Mr. Stanley. The woman says she works for you. Rita, she certainly does work for me. She's worked for me. Why are you slowing down? 
Why are you holding it? Now, what does she do for you? My second. Come wing on everybody. Look, if I can't get any answers from you, I just assume Ten four. Captain Hilliard at home. Understand you're in a All drivers, Stanley. please turn on your headlights if they're not already on. my client, and I want to see her. Ten four. I'm warning you, Franz. I won't. I'm waiting on everybody up here. You're holding her. And I have a right to see her. Come on. I'll be in 201 for a couple of minutes. Okay, Lieutenant. We got her down the hall here, Mr. Stanley. Booked yet? Not yet. When we picked her up and tried to get some information from her, she just gave us her name and address and asked us to call you. That's all we know, except, of course, the two guys she was with. She was with two men? Yep. Well, where are they? Are you holding them? Sort of. What do you mean? They're dead. My apologies. Yeah, Mr. Stanley, your secretary killed them. Trav, we do apologize. That was an unintentional break check up front. Go ahead, Mr. Stanley. Just waiting for me. Yeah. Again, to the plane. I'm slowed down a lot. 34, behind leader. This isn't a very nice way to spend a Sunday morning, is it? No. We are going to slow down some more and then uh, move to the left lane as you guys can do so safely. You want us to move, you want us to, move to the left lane? No. What is it? I'm just following the lead. I see everybody in the left lane. Lee hit me. Oh, gotcha. One of those Roger. Things, just one of the silliest things that could possibly happen. Two men are dead. Hour 45 left. I've heard you say it many times. You've even said it to me. Copy that. If you're arrested and taken into custody, just give your name and address and ask for your lawyer. You say that to people all the time. You've said it many times. I've heard you. I, I heard you. I know. <laughs> you did right. Well, I asked for you. I wanted to tell you. I never thought I'd be... Lee, it was so silly, so, so very silly. Coffee was 92 cents a pound, and they had a special on steak, $1.15 for T-bone, and there was some bakery goods, what? the weekend special. Well, yesterday afternoon, in the office, I was making out my list for the week, oh. and I was getting my list ready. I was going to stop in the market on my way home. For, for the drivers that are not in our Discord, our next run is going to be kind of short because we got one that doesn't have all our all the DLCs and whatnot. So we're going to let him pick the runs. Radishes, celery. Yeah, Elmwood Thank you very much for joining. I do appreciate. Mr. Stanley is in the office right now. Is there any message? Yes, I'll tell him. Thank you for calling. Goodbye. Oh. Oh, hello. My name is Tony LaFerro. Is Mr. Stanley in? Oh, hello, Mr. LaFerro. I've heard Mr. Stanley speak of you. I'm Miss Dorsey, Mr. Stanley's secretary. I'm sorry he isn't in right now, but he's due back any minute. Is everybody caught up for now? Yes, of course. Take a chair over here. Sure. I'm a little bit too caught up. Know whether anybody can... All right, we're going to speed up to 65 and lock it in. Well, Miss I'll be there. Everybody watch for break checks, room. okay? Mr. Stanley had to be in court this morning. It's in four, I'll let you know if it's break. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? That's well. If you can, uh, go into right lane. You said you'd heard Copy Mr. that. Speak to you. It's in four, so still right lane. I'm sure Mr. Stanley will be able to help you, Mr. LaFerro. Otherwise, he wouldn't be handling the case. I just don't understand how people can be that take that car. It was mine. It belonged to us, me and my wife. I had a right to sell it. Well, she get charged I'm it. not going to speed up just yet because uh, if I speed up too fast, you guys are going to fall behind. Hello, Tony. Copy so, that. My uh, wife's back in this country. She's Four, so one out. That's right. I received a letter this morning. I'm out on bail now, winning my trial. Now. All right. I'm going to speed her up all the way there. I... Those receipts for the sale. Copy that. We should top out Good. at 65 oh, for the other drivers that are not in the Discord. Uh, go on in, Tony. I'll be in the next seven. 10 Rita. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You know something? What? That mild, sweet little man, he's so polite and gentle. How could he get into all this trouble? Because that mild, sweet little man is a liar and a thief, and they usually get into trouble. Oh, you're all... If he had a gun, he'd as soon blow your head off as look at you. Sorry I ever took him on as a client. Well, that's plenty of time, that's plenty of time. So, for our okay, guests, are you guys interested so in joining uh, Mischief with the Six, or are we just hanging out tonight? Lines. While I was taking notes, I, I knew how wrong everything had been for him. You, you as usual, were all lawyers. He'd talk, and you'd tell him he was lying, and make him tell it to you in another way. It was all so involved. I, I did not copy that last. Can you come back on that, please? He from his divorced wife and her being in England. Oh, I don't know. I just took notes. Getting off the next exit. Six. Well... Exit 19 towards Where are you? Are you go back there right now and stay there. I'll call you Monday morning after I talk to Judge Presley. But I'm going to tell you one thing. This is going to cost you money. Why oh, are you making up here? If so, why? Thank you. Sure. Good night. Why? What are you doing? Good night. What happened? Sorry. Stay there. It's all right. Uh, a bit of a issue up here. Mm. Where's my coat? I'm like a dang nanny right now, going up the hill. What about these? Well, they have to be typed up. For when? I'll need them first thing. Safely, I'm safely to move to your left and go ahead and get out. Uh, Wyatt is kind of stuck oh, and he's hitting everything in his path. I'll just get them out right now. Thanks. Can I get me? I'll be getting along. You as well. Just a minute. Hmm? I have to go shopping before the store is closed tonight. Oh. Oh. Here's your check. I got it. I'm Don't worry anymore. See you Monday. Night, Bob. Night. You as well as day. I'm just going to go ahead and proceed to the, um, okay. to the drop-off spot. Copy that. Go ahead and uh, go to the drop-off. I'll be right behind you. Well, it took me until 8.30 to type up the notes. And after that, I drove straight to Jack's Market. It's about two blocks from my apartment. I wanted to cash my check, get the groceries, and go home. My idea was to have a little something to eat and get to bed early. Well, it didn't work out that way. Wait! Hey! Wait, please! Huh? Oh, thank you. Thank you. You, you aren't closed, are you? We are, miss. It's five after nine now. Oh, there's still some people in there. I can see them. Well, they got here before nine. Well, what time is it now? Five after. Oh, I haven't got a thing in the house to eat. I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to let any more customers in after nine. That's why they put me here. Oh, dear. There's just nothing in the house at all for dinner. Sorry. We're open from ten to six tomorrow. Could you come back then? Yes, of course. But what about now? Tonight? What do you want? Well, I could get by with a little steak. Well, just something for now. I just got off work and I... I'm looking. Now you go ahead. Oh, thank you. Don't say anything to anybody. It'll be my neck. Just pretend you got here before now. I got you. Go that way. As long as I did get in, and I decided I'd do all of my shopping. It wouldn't hurt anybody if I was just a little late. You know how it is in a store. You wheel back and forth looking for what you want. At least I do. And that's what I did there. I was way in the back of the store, and I didn't notice it when they turned off the overhead fan. And I didn't notice that there wasn't anybody front at the cash register. But I did notice it when all the lights suddenly went out. Well, I want to wish everybody a good night, and thanks for allowing me to play. And uh, but I gotta go do some chores. I'll talk to you folks later. Hey, appreciate it. Thanks again for joining the convoy. And uh, the offer is still open to join Mr. Statistics if you like. If you want that information, we'll be running convoys for like the next hour or so. Okay, yeah, great. Thank nice you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Uh, you have a good night. Hope to talk to you again soon. Yeah, and thanks again, folks, and I'll keep that in mind about joining. Bye for now.